Hello lords and ladies, Kaiser here and welcome to a brand new Let's Play. We finished the Sid Meier's Pirate series and as promised I am starting a Crusader Kings 2 one. Now this is definitely a game that will in the future warrant many more series most likely so I decided for the first one to start us off in Ireland, the oh so lovingly named by many Newbie Island. And while I've played this game before, I am in no way a veteran, so I'll be counting on your feedback to make sure I don't keep making dumb choices. Deal? Deal. Now, I love this game, I absolutely do. I played the original Crusader Kings Deus Vault, and when this game was released back in 2012, I was overjoyed because it looked and still looks amazing. So Crusader Kings is a grand strategy game by Paradox in which you take control of a dynasty or rather one of the dynastic members. You make life choices quite literally for both your characters and your county, duchy, kingdom and eventually, hopefully, empire. There are many ways of, of expanding of course, you can try and build up some sort of military, try and get some alliance uh, alliances to help you out and expand via conquest, you can try and play the long game and try and get your dynasty into other great families, then cajole and plot to slowly but surely get your own blood relatives on top of great kingdoms. I absolutely love the intrigue possibilities, but then again, as people will see, I very, very much like the military conquest as well. <laughs> With all that said, let's head in and start a new game. So as you can see, I was doing a little bit of a test run just to see how this goes. We will be starting in the Middle Ages, so the... the earliest possible starts and I've already decided that we will be picking Tyr um, Connell I'm hoping that's how you pronounce it, Tyr Connell uh, and start our growth from this somewhat backwater county now the another reason why I picked this place is because for one thing he looks the youngest, well if you don't consider this guy but we will be picking that and just slowly, hopefully, start growing from there. So here we go. We won't really have Iron Man mode enabled because, in you know, guys, just like in the Mountain Blade series, in case there's a crash, I would very much like the capability of saving games between save. I mean, between quitting, uh, etc. So here we go, loading game. And there we go. So, just like any other pair or many other Paradox games, let me say that, uh, just like Europa Universalis, uh, Victoria 2 and everything, this game is played out on a map, for those of you that might be new to this sort of series. Uh, so here we go, Tyr Conal. So apparently we're pretty martial, yes we are, though our intrigue is even more awesome, which is excellent. I'm gonna be disabling this hand, sorry, I'm probably gonna have to disable each hint as we go, yes I will, even though I did that last time. Uh, so let's go through our council first. First of all, let's see if we maybe have a better counselor. We do not. Let's see if we can maybe find one. Search realm. Gender. Um, any really. In prison. No. Married. Doesn't matter. Ruler. No, because they will not be joining us. Join court. Yes, because I would like. Wow. Wow. So nobody's really willing to join us just yet. Any religion, any culture, no, my religion, my culture. Just in order to have a those filters ready for the future. So right now we can't really find any uh, new people, so this is the best we can do as far as uh, our counselor goes. Or chancellor, if you prefer it that way. So, let us see, what can he do? Improve diplomatic relations, we don't really need that right now. So descent. Uh, that is good if you plan on possibly cajoling and plotting versus certain people. 
but for now, we will be starting off by fabricating some claims on, let's say, Bri Brave? I'll, I will try and not butcher these names, and in order to not butcher them, it's probably safest to just not say them. The reason we're not heading here is because this guy has a double county. Uh, I mean, his levies aren't that strong, but I'm pretty sure ours are even weaker. Yes, they are. Uh, and this place, yeah, is even weaker than ours, so we will, of course, be trying to get the weaker ones first. Now, how old are we again? 39. Alright, so if everything goes well, we should be alive for another, I don't know, 10, 20 years, something like that. Let us see. Marshall. Are we our own Marshall? No, we, of course, we can't be. But we have a pretty good Marshall, which is great. We will have our Marshall train troops that will increase our maximum levies. Uh, well, we can't see it right now yet. Wait. Guys, just a sec. I'll see if there's anything in the options that just straight up disables the hints. Just a bit. Alright guys, welcome back. I think I turned them off now, so it should be fine. There shouldn't be any more bothersome hints. Yeah, there we go. They're not there anymore. Excellent. Alright, next off. Steward. Uh, Settle try, but this is good when, you know, there aren't... Um, or rather, when you take over a county that does not have your culture. Let me just check. Cultures, yeah, but as you can see, we're all Irish here, so... Uh, we won't be needing that command anytime soon. Build Legend is a very, very nice thing to have. And something we will most likely go for. Because for one thing, it builds up our prestige. Something that is very, very important to us as we are currently a tribe. We will get into that in a little bit. But yeah, for now, we'll just start building up our legend. And thus getting much, much, much more prestige than usual. Spy Master, do we have anything better? We do not. Alright, let me check if we can find some character. Alright, oh, we just flat out cannot. Though, wait, search all. What's what's the difference? Alright, search all. Apparently we can find somebody better. Not a better chancellor though. Alright, uh, we already have a very good... Uh, whatchamacallum... Marshall, there we go. Steward, apparently we have the best one around. Intrigue. This guy isn't much better than the guy we have right now, so we won't bother. Uh, however, the court chaplain. This one's much, much, much better. Though he has a claim. like If you can see that these guys have a claim, that usually means that they might eventually just rise up against their former... Lord, or rise up in order to get, um, claim the claim, so to speak, uh, and they will leave your court, so we won't be bothering with those. Alright, but w nonetheless, even though he is kind of weak, I do want to send him to learn, I mean, to study some technology in other places. Right now, the only apparently technologically advanced place is Constantinople, so we will be doing that. Uh, court Chaplain, you can either proselytize, which, well, right now we don't really need, improve relations, or build zeal. Now, the build zeal is essentially the same as build legend, just that it doesn't give you uh, prestige, it gives you piety. However, the troops that you might spawn from building zeal usually demand that you go into a holy war, but we can't really go into a holy war because... Well, as we can see right here, everything around us is Catholic. We are nowhere near enough any Muslim or Germanic places to be able to successfully uh, start a holy war. So what we will do is send him... Wait, let me first check if we have anything, anyone better. We do not. Alright, so what we will do is send him to Rome to increase our relations with the current Pope, because if I remember correctly, we can request money. Yes, we can! We can request money if we can afford to lose 100 piety, which, of course, we will be gaining, but probably not fast enough, but that's okay. Uh, right, so now that we've done all that, let's pick an ambition for our ma guy. Oh, he's not even married yet, so yeah, we'll pick the get married ambition. 
uh, character focus. Now let's see, what can we actually pick from here? Theology scholarship, not, eh, learning is pretty weak, but like the additional two or three won't really matter. Uh, our intrigue is high enough right now, so I think I usually go for uh, the hunting because it increases our health, which increases the duration that our lord is alive for, of course, or, well, the chance that our lord will <laughs> remain alive for a while. Uh... Unmarried ruler? Well, yeah, we just gave him the ambition to get married, so let's find him somebody suitable. Uh, apparently, there's nobody suitable other than just courtiers. That's kind of a bummer. But this courtier is pretty good. Thrifty cleric. Her fertility is good, too. And, I mean, we do have one child, but it would be nice to get a few more. So, oh, wait, she's Greek. That might be a little problematic. Because, um... Different cultures hate each other. At least in the beginning. Can we perhaps find somebody to marry into to get some alliances going? Do you have any children? You do not. I mean, you do, but you have a son. That's not really interesting to me. Apparently, nobody has any kids yet in this timeline. Alright, so... <laughs> Well, then I guess we'll just go with that. Uh, sure. Let's go with you, then. We will be losing prestige right now, but... For marrying into housing... Uh, we lose quite a lot of prestige, but we should be able to build it up quickly enough with the build legend function. Wait, so, okay. <laughs> Let's actually unpause this game in this video. Alright, it was one of those situations where you didn't want to tell the truth in case it would hurt the person, but in the same time, honesty is a virtue. Uh, be honest and tell, us that, tell it as it is. Same trade opinion, but we lose intrigue. I don't really want to lose intrigue. Diplomacy minus one, but our diplomacy, oh, how good is it? Eh, it doesn't really matter. I would much rather have our intrigue be even higher because it helps a lot during plotting. A group of hedge knights uh, welcome them with a lavish feast, lose one gold, but gain ten prestige. Yeah, we'll do that. At least we get a little bit of a prestige bonus. Yes, it is everyone's concern, let's get some gold from that. We lost prestige, but we will be gaining it, so it's fine. We got the ambition to get married, so let's pick a new one. We already have a son, so we can pick that ambition. Uh, let's see, amass wealth? Nope, because we'll probably be using the wealth as soon as we get it. Paragon of Virtue. Have a daughter. Let's go with that one for now. Have prepared, have participated in a minor tournament together with our knights. Sadly, one of those landless vagabonds <laughs> had been severely injured. Uh, pay with some medication. Lose five prestige. Oh, God, we're just losing money now, but... <sighs> 0.19. Let me check. Uh, we should have a vassal. We do. But this va Wow, he really likes the current Pope. Now, if this vassal likes us more than he likes the Pope, as you can see right now, he's not paying us any tribute. Not to mention he would not be willing to raise any troops in our name. As you can see, like, like I said, if you train troops in your county, it increases immensely. Um, for now, guys, I'm only playing on speed 2 so that we can actually go through everything. For now, my son is the r uh, current heir. That is fine. City levels. Uh, not really sure if we can do much with this. Like, other than possibly try and get the guy to like us more. And then impose some more church taxes in order to... Or church levies would be even better, most likely, so that we get more troops. We don't really... can't really increase that yet. Yeah, yeah as you can see, he, he would raise about 70 troops, which does make a difference in the beginning, of course. If he liked us more than he likes the Pope currently, but he does not. Now, here is where we get to why... I want us to get as much prestige as possible. I want our uh, chancellors 
to be able to get as many fabricated claims as possible during our lifetime uh, so that we can declare war on at the same time against all of those uh, claims and if we have 500 prestige we can raise the tribal army it requires 500 prestige and it requires that we are at war but it raises 2,500 men with a fairly low maintenance if you look at it that way and they help you in your conquests which is the main <laughs> part here now I would also love to eventually adopt feudalism and get out of the tribal phase, uh, phase of this game but it requires us to have absolute tribal organization now we cannot increase our tribal organization as a county we can only increase it once we get uh, another piece of land or rather once we manage to become a duchy so that might take a while invite I mean wait this usually appears at the court steward steward alright so we don't need a steward we need a courtier Ah, you're not that good. Be gone. <laughs> uh, let us try and get some debutantes, I guess. I, I know they're all female, but it doesn't really matter if they're... I mean, that diplomacy is pretty good. What about you? Even better. Excellent. No, I don't really need you, though I didn't really check the rest. No. Alright, so we will be keeping this one. This one was the best, right? Yeah. Alright, so we will be keeping her. And we will appoint... Oh my god, okay, right, right, you cannot appoint females as council, uh, council members. Ah! Oh, kind of forgot about that. Okay, so we just made dumbass decision number one. <laughs> and lost about, what, six gold? Oh, damn it. Invite holy man, no, we don't really need it. Though our chaplain, I guess, isn't the best. What we can also do is borrow 300 gold from Jewish merchants as soon as we get a claim and get some mercenaries to fight for us and use those mercenaries to fight for that claim. Uh, one more important thing I do want to do, guys, is... I want to make sure that our inheritance goes from uh, Gavelkind to Tanistry. The main reason for that is that for, uh, Gavelkind... Usually, well, not usually. Gavelkind always um, distributes your lands among your sons once you die. So even if I conquered, I don't know, a bunch of lands, they would all just break apart once I died. While in Tanistry, while true uh, that everyone in your dynasty even like in your not currently controlled family but like even lo uh, f uh, how do you call it um further <laughs> dynastic members or rather you know your uncles your cousins etc 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 uh they are eligible to be your heir it is a voting function i mean it does make use of a voting function nominations and such but upon your death your lands are not necessarily uh, divided among multiple pretenders or multiple heirs all we need for that is to make sure that we manage to survive for 10 years <laughs> uh, the good point of Tanistry is also that you can pick the dynasty member with the best traits or with the traits that you find best to be your heir. However, the bad point of Tanistry is that every vassal at one and two ranks below you can nominate an heir. Now right now, because we only have one vassal really, that means that if I nominate my son for instance and he nominates somebody else, my son will still be my heir. Just a moment, let's see what is this. Uh, arranged merit. Oh, no, I right clicked it. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. Mistake number two. <laughs> um, as I was saying, uh, my son would still inherit because, in case of a tie, your 
nomination or rather your vote is the deciding vote. However, once we spread or rather expand, for instance, if we've hopefully soon managed to get a claim on this county and take it over, we will suddenly have another. You don't that the man has a car, that's for certain. Uh, he's our counselor. Why do I have to make one of them a coward? I mean, I guess this guy is more useful to us, so we'll pick this guy, but... Wow. That wasn't a very nice decision. <laughs> uh, right, as I was saying, you, we will suddenly have another vassal. Unless we, of course, usurp this, or rather, um, revoke the uh, vassal's land, but we won't be doing that, considering this is a church, or, or rather a temple. Bishopric. There we go. And as such, we wouldn't really be able to make much use of it. Or rather, we would be getting massive, massive penalties. Penalties, sorry. But, due to the fact that we would suddenly have two vassals... If they both decided to vote for somebody else that is not my son, that other person would suddenly become my heir. Now, hopefully they don't make dumbass decisions and, you know, try to nominate somebody that's utterly useless to us. Uh, but that is a risk that I, at least, am willing to take. Hopefully you agree with me. <laughs> Religion... Yeah, I know you don't really like me that much. Fingers of St. John the Baptist. Discount price for boxes of 10. A bishop brings to your attention that false relics are being sold at the market at great profits. They do, of course, generate a lot of commerce and taxes, but still, it's rather immoral and blasphemous. Crack down on those criminals. We lose one gold, but gain 10 piety. Piety, sorry. But also gain... 25 vas temple vassal opinion like uh how much does uh, the vassal dislike me more than he does so even if we gain 25 we would be at 56 it's still less than the pope leave them be Tem temple he would hate me even more get in on the business we can get cynical or greedy national tax modifier goes up uh, but he would hate us. Uh, let's try and crack on, down on them. Now, you should like me more now. So, let's see. Can we award honorary title? Is there any that gives him... Oh, there is! Do I want to designate him as my regent? Sure, let's do it. I know it's a little bit of a... Wait, what? Court chaplain... Where did the plus 25 go? I should be at 66 right now. What? Can those two not stack or something? Wow, and I was hoping that I would be getting his taxes. Hmm. Alright. Doge of Amalfi, where are you at? Uh, you're not really going to be much use as an ally, even if we ally. Even if we make an alliance is what I meant. So, alright. My li mission to Roma, excellent. He increased our relationship with the man. Like, as you can see, we are gaining, wow, quite a lot of uh, prestige. So, alright, we've al almost, almost gotten out of the... Deficit. Uh, the Jew fate smiles upon me. My wife is pregnant. Excellent. And we even get some more prestige from that. That's even better. Alright, so if we click on the Jour here, we can see what part. I mean, what we are part of the De Jour. Ah! What the Jour titles we are a part of. There we go. English. So we are a part of the Duchy of Ulster. Now, if I remember correctly, if I manage to take down, for instance, Tyr Egan, 
and, well, this place, I won't even <laughs> try and pronounce that, but if we manage to take both of these counties, we will be able to create the Duchy of Ulster, and automatically be able to also usurp the land from this guy, because we will, as a duchy, have that possibility. Now, also, if we manage to, you know, conquer Konakta and Bri this place, before we do that, we can also have a duchy right here, which automatically increases both our prestige gain and everything of the sort. Now, the Duchy of Ulster is a part of Kingdom of Ireland. Same rules apply. If we manage to get more than, I believe, 50%, is it 50? 50, yeah, we have to have 51% of the de jure counties, or rather duchies, well, lands, basically provinces, in order to create the Kingdom of Ireland. Once we do that, we will be able to, well, either usurp or do anything with the lands under there. There we go, we got the daughter we wanted. Now, what ambitions open up to us. Become King of Ireland. Now, that's a very, very tall order and most likely not going to be able to do that. Become exalted among men. Can we get prestige over 1000? Probably not because the moment we get 500, we will be looking into raising the tribal army. Can we manage to get our piety up to 500? I mean, it's the most likely out of all of these, so let's go with that one. So let's become a paragon of virtue. Alright guys, this was the pilot episode to a new series. Hopefully, you enjoyed this series as much as I enjoy playing it. Now keep in mind, I am not a veteran at this, and I really am counting on any and all sort of feedback to help us either grow faster grow more efficiently and hopefully make better choices because I am honestly not completely sure which technologies go into what like of course I can read of course but as far as laws go uh, can I get primo geniture for instant if I adopt feudal monarchy hopefully I can hopefully I can but I do know that even if I select Tanistry it doesn't really go into anything else other than the elective gavel kind and agnatic cognatic gavel or rather full-on gavel kind sorry about that little cut there guys there we go I am definitely back and so are the sneezes <laughs> Uh, anyway, guys, as I was saying, thank you very much for, join, uh, for joining me. I hope you guys are enjoying the series, and I will see you guys next time. Until then, as always, Ad Gloriam.